Hello from Media Blogs. In this tutorial I will show you that how you can embed Android 6.0's runtime permission in your Android application. First I will create a button in XML. Now I will find that button in Java. Add click listener on button click, so that I will create folder by clicking on button. I will make folder in external directory with name EDA blogs. Then I will check if folder not exist then create folder, and store result in ff variable. And check if ff is true this means folder created successfully. Otherwise I will show toast that failed. Currently I have two emulators running, one is Android Lollipop and other is Android Marshmallow. I created two emulator to demonstrate that why we need to embed runtime permissions. I am going to run this in Android Lollipop emulator. Oops it's failed because I haven't declared permissions yet. As you can see we got a toast that folder created successfully, ok let's go inside SD card and check that folder created name DDA blogs or not. Now run this application in Android Marshmallow emulator. Oops we got an error. Let's check Logcat to figure out reason of this error. There is nothing in Logcat. I am going to move this code inside method, because I need to call this method in two places.
I will create a method, which will check if our application has required permissions or not. I need only one permissions write external storage. Now loop through all permissions and check if its permissions granted. And store its value in res variable. Now create another method to request permissions. First I will check if device's Android version is equals or greater than Marshmallow. On button click I will check if my application has permissions, then directly call make folder method. Otherwise ask for permissions. Override on request permissions result method. It will give result that user granted permissions or not. If user granted permissions then allowed variable will be true, otherwise it will false. And if allowed variable is true then we will do our work, otherwise we will display a warning message.
I am going to click on deny button to test if it is working as expected. Now I am going to grant permissions, that's it we got folder created successfully message. Now let's run this application in Lollipop emulator, to check is there any effect on older devices. On older devices it's working normally. This is how we ask permissions at runtime, and make our application compatible on Marshmallow and higher Android version. Thanks for watching this video, if this tutorial helps you then subscribe to our channel and share with your friends.